Boris Johnson is ready to pull the plug on Brexit trade talks within days unless progress is made. Chief Negotiator Lord Frost will update the Prime Minister tomorrow, wed, on whether there is a realistic chance of an agreement being reached. It comes as allies of French President Emmanuel Macron threaten to derail a deal unless the nation's fishing fleets are given the same access to British waters as they have now. Rows over fish quotas have been one of the major stumbling blocks in the negotiations. Mr. Johnson's spokesman said, the Prime Minister has been very clear in his talks with European leaders that time is in short supply. Downing Street said the government is racing to reach agreement by October 15, the next summit of EU leaders and the date Brussels negotiator Michel Barnier has previously insisted is the final deadline. Lord Frost is in Brussels for talks with his EU counterpart to find a way to end the deadlock. Mr. Johnson's spokesman said the PM wants a deal but is prepared to walk away on world trade rules. He said, we will work as hard as we can to see if we can get an agreement by October 15. The EU themselves indicated to the UK negotiating team in July that mid-October was the last possible moment for a deal. We are committed to working hard this week to seek to bridge the gaps that remain, in particular on fisheries and the level playing field. British demands for full control over fishing access has infuriated France. Mr Macron's allies threatened to block a deal unless EU fishermen are guaranteed continuous access to British waters and fish. French MEPs Natalie Louiseau and Pierre Carlskind are pushing European Parliament colleagues to vote down any trade agreement unless it contains the pledge. In a leaked memo, seen by the Daily Express, they set out plans to issue a public threat to heap pressure on Mr Johnson. Before any post-Brexit deal can enter into force it must be ratified by the EU Parliament. Ms. Luiso, a former European Affairs Minister, and Mr. Karlskind, Chairman of the EU Parliament's Fisheries Committee, are both members of Mr. Macron's En Marche party. They wrote, these negotiations are coming to an end. The UK and EU realize that there is very little time left to find an agreement. We, as representatives of our fellow citizens, must protect their interest and this will be our sole guideline when we vote on the outcome of the negotiations.